I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, developers want to build a new Walmart Supercenter in Harrison. The project would be built on land between North Hickory Valley Road and Highway 58. The developers are requesting that some county property be annexed into the city. The proposed Supercenter comes amid a major expansion by Walmart in the Chattanooga area. The company is opening smaller neighborhood market stores in Fort Oglethorpe, Dalton, East Ridge, and Middle Valley. A coach at Coffee County Central High School has been charged with statutory rape. 43-year-old Bradley Newton Weir was head baseball coach at the Manchester School. He was arrested Tuesday on allegations of having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old girl. Police say Weir admitted the incident happened at his home January 29th. He's currently free on a $100,000 bond, and he's been suspended without pay pending an investigation. Weir will appear in court February 17th. Another worker has been killed at a Chattanooga candy factory. A 54-year-old man died at Wrigley Manufacturing Tuesday morning. No details have been released about how Wallace Scarborough died, but police say it was an accident. He's the second person to die at the plant in the last 16 months. In October 2013, 34-year-old Mandy Chitwood was killed after a forklift hit the ladder she was on. An OSHA investigation found nine violations at the plant. The company, which makes Altoids and Lifesavers, was fined around $8,000. A 13-year-old Chattanooga girl is missing. Police are requesting help finding Anastasia Hampton. She was last seen February 2nd when she left for school. Police say Hampton has a history of running away. Anyone with information is asked to call the police. Same-sex weddings will begin in Alabama on Monday unless the Supreme Court intervenes. A federal appeals court has refused to delay a decision overturning the state's gay marriage ban. However, the state's attorney general has asked the Supreme Court to halt the weddings until the justices settle the issue nationwide this spring. Luther Strange says the state will be thrown into confusion and conflict if same-sex weddings begin next week. Unum CEO Tom Watchin is retiring after more than a dozen years leading the company. Watchin is Chattanooga's highest paid CEO. In 2012, his compensation was close to $14 million. The 60-year-old will become chairman of the company's board of directors, and Unum's chief financial officer, Rick McKinney, will become the company's new CEO starting April 1st. John Cutthroat Simpson will be going to prison for the next 25 years. Simpson has pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. He's been accused of trying to delay his trial over the past four years by firing one attorney after another. Since his arrest, he's gone through six lawyers. On Monday, Simpson was ordered to represent himself and was given a plea deal. He's one of four men charged in the 2010 shooting death of 46-year-old Bernard Hughes. The victim's family is reportedly disappointed with the sentence. A nine-year-old boy has been badly burned in a trash fire. It happened Tuesday evening in East Lake. The boy was rushed to the hospital with second and third degree burns covering half his body. Authorities say an adult relative was burning trash in the front yard when the boy obtained a gasoline can. An investigation is ongoing. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 56 degrees. The low tonight will be around 30. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.